Greeting Summit friends. It is Wednesday, so we're doing a TGIW. Thank God it is Wednesday. Uh, I got a bit of a break this week. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but considering the last couple weeks and how big they've been, it's, it's more reasonable. So eight books this week. Uh, and all, all really solid. Um, I, I was thinking there was going to be less. A similar thing happened that did, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. I went to my first shop, and they're like, we got nothing. There's nothing there for you. I walked the wall, like, again, oh, it's going to be it's gonna be a light week. Um, and then I get to the other shop, and it's like, oh, yeah, all these indies that I get there. Um, so I was, I was hoping for around four to five bucks, ended up with eight, which isn't horrible. It definitely is better than last week's, like what, 18 or whatever it is. I definitely, I definitely needed the break from, uh, from that. Um, there are a couple other things at, at, uh, one of the stores waiting for me that I kind of talked about. Um, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it when I talk about it, uh, but first, let's go through the new books this week, uh, and I've I've read through all of them. Uh, it was it was a really solid week. I'm really happy with everything. Uh, first up, Orc Island number three. So bad idea. Um, I I guess maybe I, I don't have their schedule written down anywhere. I'm sure it's out there, but it seemed kind of weird for the first week of Bad Idea. There were two books, two number ones. And then second week was Orc Island number two, and then this week Orc Island number three, but it's only been that. Haven't seen the number two of the other issue or any other number ones, which is kind of strange. I, th I, th I, th I thought it was going to be like two per week or something, but either I was wrong or delays or whatever. Uh, but Orc Island is great. Um, you know, there, there's these, these people come to the island to kill orcs because their skulls are worth money. And at first you're kind of led to believe that their orcs are just kind of big, dumb brutes, big, war-mongering brutes. But as we follow our characters, we get to see it's maybe a little bit deeper than that. Um, but it's it's it doesn't pull any punches. That's that's for sure. Um, speaking of not pulling punches, a legacy of violence. So a, another Colin Bun joint with Muti, who I think does. Um, uh, Maniac of New York, and maybe Bunny Mask, because it's a very similar, um, very similar art style. Um, this is good. So there's a small town murderer, serial murderer is on the loose, uh, has this weird skull face mask thing. There's a new doctor in town that kind of comes at the wrong time. Um, but yeah, just, just kind of a murder story, a serial murder story. I feel like there's going to be some, like there's 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 a there's a murder in here that's brutal brutal. Um, I feel like there's probably going to be more to it. There's probably going to be some sort of mysticism or something, right? Because these these bun books kind of have that to them, right? Uh, Bunny Mask definitely has it. Manic of New York doesn't have it as much. It's not as on the surface, but it's it's kind of like that. Um, um, Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth sort of mysticism, where there's something going on because you know you kill this guy and he keeps coming back, so there's something. Uh, so I'm guessing there's probably gonna be some sort of something there. Uh, Junkyard Joe number two. So the first issue was really good. This issue was great too. So Junkyard Joe, uh, the idea of him showed up in Geiger, but this is kind of go going to his origin where he was a robot that was sort of a test thing in the Vietnam War that got put in with this um, this company um, or this trooper or whatever and they discovered he was a robot and he saved their lives and, and whatever um, but yeah it was it was, but now this this is in the modern day one of the people that he ended up his his life he saved started doing a comic strip about junkyard Joe um, and uh, yeah, someone's someone's looking for him. Um, some some clearly not nice people are looking for Junkyard Joe. Um, is, is, and uh, yeah, it's it's good. Um, it, this this gives a timeline. So I was kind of pondering with the first issue, like this this is the Jeff Johns, 
Is, it, is he trying to build some bigger universe with Geiger and Junkyard Joe? And obviously, yes. Um, there's a timeline in here of significant events in this universe. One of them is Junkyard Joe. Another is Geiger. Years and years apart. But there are other events that we uh, around characters that we haven't seen yet. So he's definitely making some some big universe here. Uh, how much they're going to intersect with each other, because it, I think it, the timeline went all the way back to 17-something and then all the way forward to when Geiger showed up, I, which is, I don't know, in the future. I don't remember exactly what year that was. Um, but he's putting something together, and I've liked everything so far, so I'm, I'm all on board. Gold Goblin number one. So we, we saw um, Norman be the Gold Goblin in last week's issue uh, of, after it being kind of teased or the armor being teased for a while um, in the last issue of Amazing Spider-Man. Um, this is really, really good. Um, it's not a lot of the Gold Goblin himself doing stuff. It's more about Norman kind of facing his past and how he was a very, very bad person, and how that's really coming out to haunt him. Um, and it manifests in ways that um, <clears throat> uh, are not good. <laughs> like, he's not doing bad things, but the way they're manifesting is like, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if he can take this for much, like mentally he can take this for, for much longer. So um, I don't, I'm not sure how, for how long we're going to have good Norman Osborn. I have been enjoying it. Uh, but and if you've been reading Amazing Spider-Man, they're, they're trying to, there, there are forces at work that are trying to get him to revert to old ways. So is it going to happen? Is it not? I don't know. Uh, I have to say that I think this next book, uh, it's between the next two, or my favorite of the week, Namor, uh, Conquered Shores Part 2. Uh, if, if you care at all about Submariner, you should be reading this book. Uh, it takes place in the future after um, the, the Kree attack Earth, and basically all land is gone and the world is almost entirely ocean. There's very small patches of land left on Earth. The majority of the heroes have gone into space to go battle the Kree. Years and years later, they have, they have not come back. So they're assumed dead. Um, there are a couple of heroes that have stayed on Earth, um, and Atlantis is... Like, obviously, Atlantis is like or the, the, the Atlanteans are doing great. Almost all of Earth is water now. Um, but they have, they have taken in some humans into, like, you know, an undersea facility. And some have chosen, some humans, humans have chosen to stay up top, uh, which is not great um, up there. But down below isn't great each either. It, it seems like they're kind of treated like, like second-class citizens. Um so that's that's the general story. Um, Namor is written great in this, where he is older, he is wiser, he is reflecting on much like Norman is reflecting on his past and how he's acted. Um, he's a lot more calm and just just weathered um, and experienced, and he really wants to help the remnants of humanity. Uh, a lot of Atlanteans don't. They're like, what do you care? Why are you helping them? So Namor is, is really kind of confronting his human half with this. Uh, it's just, it's really good. It's very, very good. Uh, I mean, I got it because like it's Namor and I love Namor stuff and I don't get enough Namor. Like when's the last time we had uh, a Submariner ongoing? Uh, so I take what I can get. Um, but it also happens that this is awesome. The other book that was really good it was She-Hulk number eight, um, which in which she doesn't actually show up, uh, 
But there are a couple of scientists that are trying to replicate um, gamma irradiated heroes. They're like all this stuff happened mostly by accident, and they're like, "Well, if we can do it in a controlled environment, it would just be better, right? Because it's not it doesn't have this randomness to it. It's like we are meaning to do this." Let's replicate the process, and we'll just be better Hulks. Uh, they, they chose Hulk because it was kind of the easiest to uh, to get your hands on, right? They're like, how are we going to get an irradiated spider or, or whatever? But they can get gamma stuff. Um, so they, they attempt to replicate the process of uh, becoming a gamma-irradiated Hulk, and it does not go well. <laughs> it does not go well. Um, but I, it's, it's it's all kind of set up for what's going to come after that. Um, but it was it was really good. I'm very excited to see it. I, I think it's a story that um, I'm surprised it hasn't been done before. At least I don't think it's been done before. Of trying, on purpose, trying to make yourself a Hulk. That's good. Something is killing the children, number 26. Man, this has been 26 issues. Uh, so Erica's on the run. She is in this town where there's a monster, and she's trying to help them. They don't believe her, obviously. Um, and uh, so now she's kind of having to fight a war on two fronts. She's trying to help save the town. Well, three fronts, really. She's trying to save the town from the monster. The town's kind of against her. Because they don't know what's going on. They just know that she was around this killing. Uh, and then... Um, then uh, people from... Um, whatever the Order of St. George or whatever is, is after her. So she's having a tough time right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah. It, it, it's a fairly slow issue. Um, in the previous issue, she she got into a, 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 the fight and... Now she's just kind of knocked out, and there's, there's a lot. It's a lot of uh, setup for what's to come. And the last thing is Demon Wars Shield of Justice. So just continuing the Demon War, uh, Demon War story, which is just it's great. It's a it's a fun take on the Marvel universe. Um, I mean, we, we're getting a, a Captain America uh, type character. Um, the, the, um, the previous arc kind of ended ish, but now we're, we're kind of starting a, a new story, um, that obviously is, is connected to the previous one, but it's kind of a nice, nice fresh start. Um, if you haven't been reading these, this actually is a fairly decent picking up point. Uh, it gives a really good recap of kind of what's going on. Uh, and it's, it's pretty easy to jump into, honestly. Um, at least I think it would be, um. I, can't, I guess I can't say for sure because I have read the previous ones. But uh, I do love, and I, I, I still love Momoko's art. Um, so that's everything for um, the week. So last week I had picked up that that copy of um, The Approach because um, two of the uh, creators of that were going to be at one of my comic shops. So I got it. So it's like, I'm going to go to this sign. I'll read it if I like it, which I did. Uh, I'll go to the signing and get it signed. Um, it, it didn't work out. Um, I, I just, I just, the way the day was going, I couldn't, I couldn't get there, unfortunately. Um, but I, I, I called the store and, and talked to, um, and talked to them and said like, hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna be there, I can't make it, um, but could you get some stuff for me and, and have it signed? Um, so she did, kind of. Uh, so they obviously I couldn't get my copy of the approach that I had because it was here at home and not there, uh, but they they did 
have um, a variant available. This is a tour variant. It's only available on the places that they're stopping on their tour for the approach. And it's also a cool cover. So um, I, I had her, uh, I, I bought that and had it signed um, by, by both. Um, that team, uh, so Jeremy Hahn and Jason Hurley also um, did the beauty, um, which seems to be somewhat rumored that it might be a show. Um, now, I already have a copy of the beauty number one that is kind of signed by them. <laughs> um, it's the secret variant, so it's wrapped in a paper bag and it's sealed. Um, but the paper bag is signed. The book itself isn't signed, but that's signed. I just, I don't want to open it. Um, but, um, th this I actually didn't know in, until they came and, and, um, the, uh, one of the, the, the shop owners had mentioned it is that, um, the beauty number one isn't actually the first appearance of the beauty. Uh, so back in, what was it? Well, back when top cow was an imprint of image 2011, they, they had uh, a series um, called pilot season where they basically test run or give like these, like sort of like first issues or, or pilot episode concepts um, of of comics and the beauty was one of them uh, and I have to compare it to my my trade but I don't know if this is exactly the same it looks like it or, or they kind of redid it for the actual first issue uh, but the actual the beauty came out years later uh, but this is actually the first concept of the beauty um, years before it actually came out I, I had no idea uh, so I know I knew that they had some of these she, she showed them to me and I was like I'll take one of those and have them sign that as well so so I have an actual the beauty comic signed by um, the main creative team which is which is cool to have instead of just the, the outside paper bag of the secret variant that, um, that I otherwise have. Um, I, I also, they also had uh, t-shirts for sale that had um, for, for the, that was for the approach tour. Um, it had this really, really cool design on the front where it's, it's a biplane with like tentacles coming out of the wings, but it's just like a silhouette of it. And then on the back is the, all the places they stopped on the tour. So I asked for a medium of that, uh, it turned out they, they didn't have any mediums or they ran out of mediums or whatever. Um, so I, I didn't end up getting that, but they're going to see if they can get some more. And if they do, then I'll, I'll get that. Because it, it's a really slick design. I really like it. Um, obviously, because I wanted to buy it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. So uh, a nice, solid week. Everything was was really good. Um, so I'm glad that I have my, my, my stack now even though it gets unwieldy at times, it is solid. Uh, there, there was one other thing I almost got that I was able to resist, and that was uh, Murder, Murder World Avengers. Um, and I struggled with it because... Um, so that's going to be a four-part limited series where there's Murder World Avengers, Murder World Spider-Man, Murder World Wolverine, and Murder World Moon Knight. I think are the are the four, um, and the problem my my issue with that was the Murder World Spider Man in 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 my I I own or w want to own all Spider Man books, ongoings, limited series, one shots, and so on. Um. Is that still true if I don't have Murder World Spider-Man? Um, and I'm not going to get just Murder World Spider-Man. I'd get the whole series. Which, I, I mean, I considered anyway because I like arcade and Murder World. I like that idea. It's fun. But do I need it? No. Um, so I thought about it 
And I decided, like, no, Murder World Spider-Man is not a Spider-Man book. It's a Murder World book that is featuring Spider-Man. Um, so I think, I think I'm okay with, with not getting that. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, but I think, I think that's, it does not count as a Spider-Man book. It is, it is a, uh, it, it, it is the, you know, the, um, Carrie, Katy Perry featuring Snoop Dogg. <laughs> it's not a Snoop Dogg, it's not a Snoop Dogg song. It's featuring Snoop Dogg. Um, but, uh, yeah, and that, that was the other thing I, I almost got, but was, I was able to get myself out of it. But uh, let me know what you think um, uh, on, on that and everything else here or whatever. Just tell me about your day. What's the last thing you ate? I don't know. Uh, just whatever. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, and uh, of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video is brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.